If you like beef jerky, you're probably used to the standard thickness of beef that comes in the packaged stuff that you buy at the store. Newest to me is the wafer thin style of beef jerky that I've discovered in New Mexico. Before this slicer, it was painstakingly time consuming to slice meat with a knife that thin. I've found the magic recipe for thin sliced beef jerky and it's using the Bestwood 250 meat slicer and frozen, yeah, frozen beef. These are two eye of rounds right here, about five pounds each. Um, and they're rock solid. So what I'm gonna do is trim off the fat and I'm gonna show you how to thin slice them on here for beef jerky. And let me tell you something, tell you you've tried really, really thin beef jerky, you don't know how good it can be. It almost gets to a crispy consistency. Um, it has a slight crunch when you first bite into it. I know that sounds gross to some of you, but it's, it's amazing. The minute your saliva hits the beef, it just begins to dissolve and break down and the flavor's intense and you don't have to sit there and chew the beef like the cow chews the cud. It doesn't get all trapped up in your teeth like some beef jerky does too. You've got to go floss out, you know, quarter pounders out of your molars. Um, this to me is the best way to, to make beef jerky now for, for us. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to slice this on the meat slicer and you'll see how easy it is with um, the meat being frozen. So let's get started. I'll get these trimmed up and then I'll get them on, on the machine and show you how quick and easy we can slice up 10 pounds of beef for homemade beef jerky. This is a piece of parchment paper here and just for sanitary reasons, uh, I like to keep the meat slicer as clean as I can. So you take this, cut yourself a piece of parchment paper to fit this area here. And actually you can slide it underneath there, that little plastic gasket that's on there. And it kind of holds it nicely in place there. And then uh, just to keep it from moving around or anything, scotch tape down like right here. And then we'll put another piece of tape right here, just to kind of hold it in place. We're also gonna set some more parchment paper right off here to the side so that when we start to pile up our meat here, we can put it somewhere else. So here's what our eye of round looks like after we trim it up, get all the fat off of it. I'll show you how to, I'm gonna cut off the ends and I'll show you how to get it on the slicer. Okay, so you're gonna wanna cut your meat into chunks. This is a five inch wide chunk because that's about as wide as you can get in here, okay? We've got our meat slicer set to one and a half. We're gonna start with that and see how that comes out as far as thinness. Turn on our machine. Drop our meat down in there. Push our guard over. And let's see how this first slice comes out. Look at that. You can almost see through that. Beautifully thin sliced piece of meat. And actually, I believe we can even go thinner. So, I'll show you what a thinner slice looks like. Let's go down to one. See what one looks like. Now we're at one. Actually, yeah, I think I like one better. Yeah, nice, super thin slice. And I believe it'll even go lower to like a half. See what it does there. Wow, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to a half. The thinner the better with this beef jerky, you'll see. It takes the marinade really quick. 
full of flavor. So we're gonna do it on a half. No need to make you watch me slice beef in real time, so I'm gonna speed up the process here. You can still hear the frozen meat. The process of slicing this 10 pounds of eye around literally took me less than five minutes. So when you get to a certain spot, you'll see this is about, you're gonna be left with about that much meat that won't go through the meat slicer. So we'll put this in, chop it up and use it for something else. It definitely will get used. Hunk number two. We're on the second eye of round. How fast and easy it just cuts those beautiful slices. See how fast this thing spits out thin slices of meat without shredding it up or leaving you know too big of a mess. Our last hunk of meat right here, all 10 pounds, sliced up in probably less than five minutes. Alright. Bestwood has done its job. Look at that. It's all thin sliced beef, ready to go into the marinade. That, my friends, is thin sliced beef. Beautifully. That's beef. You can see through that, look at that. Beautifully intact. Where do you see the beef jerky that this makes? The most delicious thing you'll ever taste. So you can see how well our meat took the marinade. It's just nice and saturated. This is about three hours in the marinade. I wouldn't recommend any more than that or else it's just gonna, you know, over tenderize the meat and come gummy and fall apart. But three hours max for beef this thin. It's definitely a little more labor intensive when it comes to the dehydrating process because you're changing out your, you have the same amount of meat and just a lot more slices because it's so thin, but it's very much worth, worth the extra work. And uh, that's marinated in my fingernails, not dirt. Anyhow, yeah, you'll see the finished product when it's done. It's just absolutely delectable. This is the finished product of my New Mexico green chili marinade and you can see the marbling in the meat beautiful this is my sweet and spicy marinade here you can see the thinness of the beef and uh, the transparency um, it's just beautiful texture tender just absolutely delicious so give this a try thin sliced beef jerky using the Bestwood 250. Once again, proving that the Bestwood meat slicer, Bestwood, the only thing missing from this thing is a T right here for the best. I've had more success with this machine than any other machine I've ever owned. And it's just made my life so easy. And um, I have videos for the cleanup because you'll definitely need to clean this machine up very thoroughly after cutting beef on it. Um, the video is very, very explicit on how to break the machine down, how to clean it safely, how not to bludgeon yourself, taking off the blade and putting it back, and uh, how to put the machine all back together and assemble it so it's ready for the next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to thin slice beef the best way with best wood on Vinyl Chef Steve. Thanks for watching.